Rug weaving is a traditional art practiced by the Navajo, an Indian nation located in the United States where Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Arizona intersect. They originally wove blankets and clothing. Then, in the early 1800s, they began weaving rugs for sale. While many weavers create contemporary designs, Navajo rugs typically feature bold geometric patterns. The wool preparation and weaving techniques developed by the weaver's ancestors have been proudly passed down from generation to generation. Everything in a Navajo rug comes from nature, starting with fleece, raw wool sheared from a sheep. Working a handful at a time, the weaver removes the mats and tangles and places the wool on carters, wooden paddles with metal teeth. By pulling one carter against the other, she straightens the wool fibers, lining them up in the same direction. This prepares them to be spun into one continuous strand of yarn. After three or four pulls, she flips the carters to straighten the fibers on the underside. Then she rolls up the fleece and adds it to the other rolls in the spinning pile. She spins the fleece one roll at a time with a traditional spindle that she lays against her thigh and rotates towards her with one hand. This movement twists the carded roll of fleece into a strand. When she reaches the end of the roll, she connects another and resumes spinning and keeps repeating this process until she's produced one long continuous strand from about 50 rolls. Then she re-spins the strand to thin it out to the final weaving size. When she's done, she checks the entire length of the strand, pulling on the thicker areas to thin them out so that the entire strand is a consistent size from one end to the other. Here you can see the difference in thickness between the first spinning and the second. To infuse her wool with color, she prepares natural dyes, sunflowers for yellow, walnuts for tan and brown hues, and cactus bugs for bright red. She puts the bugs in a stocking and soaks them in warm water overnight. Then she submerges them in a pot of water pours in the pre-soak water as well, and simmers for 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how vibrant she wants the red dye to be. Meanwhile, she soaks the yarn in warm water for at least a half hour to open up the fibers, so that they'll absorb the dye. After wringing out the yarn, she immerses it in the pot of hot dye, and simmers for at least 45 minutes, depending on the amount of bugs, water, and wool. She stirs frequently to ensure it dyes evenly throughout. It's the same process with plant dyes, except that she doesn't pre-soak the plants overnight before boiling them in water. The shade of color depends on the ratio of plants to water during dye preparation, then of dye to the quantity of wool. Proportionally more plants than dye, the darker the shade. Proportionately less, the lighter the shade. Sunflowers and walnuts are just two of many plants the Navajo have traditionally used to produce a rainbow of dyes for their textiles. With her wool now spun and dyed, the weaver picks up her weaving comb and begins. Navajo ancestors used trees as the sides of their looms. Today's weavers make looms from lumber or metal pipes. After stringing tight vertical strands of wool called the warp, she uses a flat handmade stick called a batten to pry a wide enough opening through which to pass her hand with the colored weaving wool. She weaves horizontally in and out between the warp, first in one direction, then in the other. Then she packs down the wool tightly with her comb so that the warp doesn't show. She mostly eyeballs the emerging unique pattern, occasionally counting vertical strands to calculate the symmetry a signature feature of traditional Navajo rugs.